So today we're going to talk about angle pairs created by parallel lines. So if we have, say this line's parallel and this line's parallel, we call this blue line here, it's called a transversal. Um, so what is a transversal? It's just a line that crosses parallel lines uh, to create pairs of congruent and supplementary angles. Now, technically, um, a transversal, um, we call that a transversal, even if these were not parallel. So this actually needs corrected because transversal just means it goes through uh, more than one line. Uh, congruent means it has the same measurements, like it's equal. Supplementary or angles add up to 180. Remember, uh, we call this the outside, the exterior. And this is the outside. And then we have the inside, the interior. Now looking here, we have all these different vocab words. Um, the first one being corresponding. So right here, the, the purple one, those are what we call corresponding. And let me see if I can make that. So here and here are corresponding. The oranges are corresponding. The greens are corresponding. And the reds are corresponding. Now, if these lines are parallel and we have a transversal, there is a relationship between those. Angles that lie on the same side of the transversal and are on the same side of the parallel lines. These angles in the same corner are congruent. So purple equals purple. So if this was 100 degrees, then this is 100 degrees. Now that only works if the lines are parallel. Um, alternate interior, remember interior means inside. Alternate means um, different. So the greens are alternate interior. The oranges are alternate interior. And what's, um, what's true about those is those are congruent. So if this is 40 degrees, then that's 40 degrees. But again, that only works if the lines are parallel. Alternate exterior, so the orange ones, notice they're on the outside, but they're on opposite sides. The green ones, those are also congruent if those lines are parallel. The orange, consecutive, sometimes these are called same side interior. Those um, are not equal, but they're actually supplementary. So if this orange one is, say, 80, then this orange one would be 100 because 100 plus 80 is 180. Same is true for the green one. Consecutive exterior, so on the same sides, they're also called same side um, uh, angles. Orange plus orange equals 180. Green plus green equals 180. And we've already talked about vertical angles. Vertical angles are angles on the opposite side of the X, so the greens are vertical, they're equal, otherwise known as congruent. The orange ones are congruent. The red ones are congruent, the blue ones are congruent. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna label each of these. So right here, if they're in the same spot, it's like if I was able to take this and put it right on top of that, if they're in the same spot, so this is in the same spot as here, the word for that is corresponding. There we go. Here, notice they're, this one's on the outside, that's on the outside, but they're both on the same side. So we would call, I remember outside is exterior, um, and they're not on alternate sides, so we would call that consecutive and exterior. And I guess I need to change my font. I don't know where that went. Change that to about 18. Give me plenty of room. Here, um, they're in the interior. So I know it's something interior. Um, so they're in the interior, but they're on opposite sides. They're not on the same side. So the word for that is alternate interior. Here, exterior, exterior. So I know it's something exterior. And they're on opposite sides. They're not on the same side. So it's not consecutive. It'd be alternate. 
here. They're both on the anterior. And they're on the same side. So remember, same side, the word for that is consecutive. Um, here, um, anytime we're talking about two angles that aren't both here and there, we know that's going to be one of our words like vertical. And notice those are vertical angles. Here, both those angles are on the interior. And they're on the same side, so the word for that is consecutive. And remember, when, it, when we have the word consecutive, that means that um, consecutive, forgot my U. That means that they are supplementary. So those are supplementary. Here, both on the outside. And they're, they're both on the same side. Oh, sorry. Um, this is on the exterior. That's on the interior. So I can't put exterior, interior, but they're in the same spot. If I were to pick this up and move it and put it on top of this, they'd be in the same spot. We call those corresponding. Remember, corresponding angles are congruent. Here again, that's vertical. Outside, outside. So it's going to have the word exterior. And they're on the same side. The word for that is consecutive. Here, they're both on the exterior, but they're on alternate sides, so I would say alternate exterior. Remember, those are congruent. And here, they're both on the interior, but they're on opposite sides, so we call that also alternate, but alternate interior. So we're going to use that uh, to work through these problems, and we're going to start. Um, these two angles, if I were to talk about them, and um, to do this, we have to assume that all of these lines are parallel. I don't believe they ever say that, but let's, let's assume that they are parallel. If they're not parallel, none of these are true. So if this is 68 and that's X, if you look on top, we call those corresponding. And corresponding angles are congruent. And I'll show you on top. See, we said purple and purple, red and red, orange and orange, green and green. Those are angles that lie on the same side of the transversal and on the same side of the parallel lines. These angles are in the same corner. And the key is congruent. Notice it's either congruent or supplementary. So going down here, if that's 68 and those are congruent, then this has to be 68 degrees as well. Now let's compare this X, exterior, to the 77, exterior. Remember, they're both on the exterior, and they're on the same side, so we call those consecutive exterior. And remember, consecutive exterior, those are always supplementary. Anytime you have the word consecutive, and this only works again if this line is parallel to this line. So if that's 77, to find X, I would do 180 minus 77, which is 103. So this is 103 degrees. Here, they're both in the interior. They're both on the same side. So the word for that is consecutive. Those angles, if you look on top, consecutive interior, consecutive interior are supplementary. That means they add up to 180. So if I take 180 minus 134, that is about, what, 46 degrees? So X is 46. And I just noticed that we're trying to find the value of the X, so I don't really need degrees because that's the value of the variable. They didn't ask for the angle. Here, both on the inside, but they're on alternate sides, so we call those alternate interior. Now, alternate interior, anytime you have the word alternate when you're working with transversals, those are congruent. So that's 106, that's 106. 
these angles, even if these aren't parallel, we don't even need this, but we call those angles vertical. And remember, vertical angles are always congruent. So then X would be 120. Here, same side interior, that's called consecutive interior. And remember, uh, when you have the word consecutive, that means supplementary. So what's 180 minus 74? That'd be 106. Here, they're both in the interior, but they're on alternate sides, so I call that alternate interior. Remember, alternate interior angles are congruent. So if that's 101, that'd be 101. These angles are both on the outside. They're on alternate sides. We call those alternate exterior. These angles are also congruent. So X would be 142. So those are the easy ones when it's just numbers. Um, where it gets tricky, and again, uh, we, we have to know, we have to know that these, no, that's not what I wanted. We have to know that those are parallel. So we, we must know We must know that these are parallel. If these are not parallel, then none of this is true. So really I need to put on here, like assume that all these lines are parallel. Um, assume that's parallel, assume that's parallel. Otherwise you can't solve any of these. So all of these must be parallel. And I'm gonna go ahead and just add the notation there. So remember the little arrow means parallel. Let's see, the arrow means parallel. Technically, I should have added it up above as well. On all of those, I should have put that these are parallel. Or I could have put a note on here that all of these are parallel. But here, I have um, 3x and 6x. Those are on the same side, and they're on the interior, so we call those consecutive interior. These angles are supplementary. So the equation would be 3x equals 6x. So we're going to solve that over here real quick. 3x equals 6x. Hmm. First thing I would do, is, I mean, there's a couple ways to solve this. But I, um, you could divide both sides by 3 if you wanted to. Um, let's go ahead and just... I'll show you the way you're used to, minus 3x from both sides. So those go away. And then I get 0 equals 6 minus 3 is 3. So I get 0 equals 3x. And then we divide by 3. And I get x. You know what I just realized? I'm glad I made this mistake. Uh, you get, I got x equals 0. That makes absolutely no sense because then 3 times 0 is 0, 6 times 0 is 0. We would say that angle is 0 degrees. And uh, I, I had it right here. And then my brain went somewhere else. So we shouldn't be setting them equal to each other. We should be saying that they add up to 180. Let's get rid of that. So it should be that when I add those, I get back 180 because they're supplementary. I even put supplementary, and then I did the wrong thing. So doing the work, I'd say 3x plus 6x equals 180. But 3x plus 6x is 9x. And then I would divide both sides by 9. And 9 divided by 9 is 1. 180 divided by 9 is 20. So I just found x is 20. So when I plug in 20 times 3, that would be 60 degrees. And 20 times 6 is 120. And 
Um, so it's going to be 60 for the top one, 120. And those, those do add up to 180. All right, these, they're on exterior. They're on alternate sides. So we call those alternate exterior. Remember, alternate exterior angles are congruent. So the equation would be 7x minus 12 equals 3x plus 28. And then I'm going to solve it over here. Give myself more room. Oh, let's see. First thing I would do is go minus 3x. There's many different ways. Those go away, and I get 7 minus 3x is 4x minus 12 equals 28. I would then add 12 to both sides. Get rid of that. And now I got 4x equals 28 plus 12 is 40. And then I would divide by 4, and I get x is 10. So I got x over here is 10. Zoom out a little bit. So when I plug in here, that's going to be 7 times 10. That's 70. And then I take away 12. See, 70 minus 10 is 60. Take away two more, that'd be 58. So this is 58 degrees. I should be getting 58 here as well. 3 times 10 is 30. 30 plus 28 is 58. So what's the anger, anger management? <laughs> What's the angle measurement? 58. They're both 58. Here, um, they're both on the same side. And they're both on the exterior. They're not alternate. So we call that consecutive exterior. I'll learn how to spell that eventually. Remember, consecutive interior, exterior are uh, supplementary. So my equation is going to be 3x plus 77 plus 4x plus 54 equals 180. I'm going to solve that over here. So doing the math, um, I have 3x and 4x on the same side. That makes 7x. 77 plus 54 is 131. Equals 180. Line up my equals signs. Uh, from there, I would subtract off 131. From both sides. Which, let's see, that'd be... 69. So I got 7x equals 69. And then I would take 69 divided by 7. And I got 9.86. Now the value could be a decimal, but I'm going to check my work. Here, right, looking back, eh, 180 minus 131, that's actually 49. And 49 divided by 7 is 7. So I found my mistake. X is 7. When I plug in here, 3 times 7 is 21. 21 plus 77 would be 98. Here, when I plug 7 in, 4 times 7 is 28. And 28 plus 54 is 82. And notice when I take 98 plus 82, see 98 plus 2 is 100, and then add on 80 more, you get 180. So the top one is 98, and I should put degrees, but it's really hard to on this program. And then the other one is 82 degrees. Last one. Um, this is on the inside. That's on the outside. The only one that has a relationship between inside and outside is... Um, corresponding. So those are in the same spot. We call those corresponding. 
And remember, these angles are also congruent. So the equation is going to be 9x plus 8 equals 4x plus 18. Copy that over here real quick to do my work. Oh, there's many different ways. I would subtract 4x if it were me. Those go away. I get 9x plus 8 equals 18. I would then take away 8. Get rid of those. So you get 9x equals 10. And again, I'm about to get a, uh, I'm about to get 0.9. Uh, let's see. I'm going to check my work again. Okay, so when I subtracted 4, 9 minus 4, that should have been a 5. So that's a 5. Divide both sides by 5, and I get x equals 2. So now that x equals 2, I plug in 9 times 2 is 18, and 18 plus 8 is 26, so that's a 26 degrees. And plug in here, 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 plus 18 is still 26. So my angle, anger, angle measurements is 26 and 26 for both. All right, so I hope that helps. These are uh, transversals. I think the key to take out of here is that the angles are either congruent or supplementary. Just want to make sure that you are aware that if these lines are not parallel, then we cannot identify a relationship between those two. So we would not be able to solve this if those are not parallel. So um, it's always important to double check and make sure are my lines parallel? Because if they're not, there's really nothing you can solve for. You would, your answer here would be that there is no way to solve it.